Hey guys, Jordi here from Yepper Design and welcome to a boring After Effects tutorial. I won't be teaching you anything flashy or something like that today, uh, but I'm going to explain you the very basics of expressions, okay? Uh, you can say it's like programming and video editing. It's almost the same as JavaScript for those who don't add uh, programming language. Okay, but it's amazing what you can do with expressions, really. It's so cool. Okay, let's just get started with it. I'm going to create a text. Uh, and I'm just gonna leave it empty, okay? Gonna open up my text in here and go to source text. I'm gonna Alt click on it so I can type text in here, okay? Uh, just gonna delete it, what was saying there. Um, and now I'm gonna type in a number, let's say for example seven, okay? Uh, now the number of the, uh, now the value of the text uh, will be seven, okay? Now if I want a word in here, let's say yepper, I need to quote it because yepper is not a number nor a, fu a function, okay? So now the text will be yepper. Uh, now let's cr uh, use a function, as I said before. A function, for example, is time. Time is the function for our timeline, okay? We don't need to quote that because it's a function. Uh, if we're now gonna play it, it will uh, print the time value, okay? Um, now we can do uh, other stuff with it. Uh, we can also um, link or uh, the source text, the expression to a, a an effect, a, a a plugin, a value of it. Uh, there are special uh, plugins. If you go to expression controls, uh, you got some controls which are just dumb uh, effects. It's, they're not effects, they're plugins. Uh, if you take, for example, the slider control, or you put it onto your empty text layer, uh, this won't give anything special uh, effect. This is just a value thingy. We can change the value, and you can use this value in your expressions. Okay. Now, as the slide slider control is not the only one that's, that that's having a value. Now, if you go, for example, uh, a blur effect, uh, a blur effect also has a uh, a value which is here and not only the blur effect but also lots of other effects and uh, and other effects okay um now let's open up the effect in here the floss blur we're gonna alt click again on our source text and we're gonna link it we're gonna take the pick whip we're gonna link it to the blurness of it okay and here is the text of the blur uh, the expression of it to to get it linked um no, it's just zero, okay, because we haven't changed it yet. Uh, now, if we're going to animate it, so let's say uh, here it has to be zero, and around here it has to be 20, okay? You'll already see the value here is now 20. It will take the value of it here. So if we're going to play it, it will print out the value of the blurness, okay? Uh, now, this isn't really handy to use, like the expression, like uh, like, like like this here. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a variable for it, a memory space. We're going to type in var, uh, give it anything you want, let's say yepper, uh, is effect false blur blurness, okay? Now, if I'm going to uh, show, you, show you this, it will say undefined, because we haven't printed out anything yet. The variable yepper now has the value of of the blurness, okay, but we haven't printed it yet. So to print it, we're just going to type yepper. Yepper is now a function. No, it's not a function; it's a variable. But to let you understand it better for our basic users, let's say it's a function, okay? Um, so we can use it without quotes, and it will print out the value of fast blur gonna change the value here to 3 it will say 3 I'm gonna say like 50 it will be 50 but you won't see it anymore because it's blurred so hard okay let's say 20 so it's oh, 20 so you can still see it a little bit 20 yeah okay uh, let's go do the next thing let's create a time board which is very cool I'm gonna delete my fast blur okay um, let's create a time board okay as we saw before if we type in time we get this large number, we don't want that, okay? We only want the first one, and there's a little mathematic thingy for it. If you try to type in mat.floor, uh, hook open, time, hook close, I don't, is that English word for hook? Uh, I don't know. Uh, no, we just got one second, two second, three second, etc. Okay, uh, we're gonna place this thing in a variable. I'm gonna type in var, let's say second sec is this time 
Okay. Uh, now I have to close this with a dot comma. Okay, because we are starting a new rule. We're gonna create another variable. Okay. Gonna type in bar milli to make milliseconds. Is math dot floor time times sixty. Okay. Because um uh, Milliseconds is 60 times longer than the ten seconds. Okay, and um, okay, that's it. We've got two uh, variables now, and now we can print it. Okay, uh, we learned with the quotes. We can type in text, like say seconds uh, in quotes plus the variable of second plus new quotes, some text um, milliseconds. Okay, uh, so sp uh, space, oops, plus a space, and now the variable of milli. And let's play this. Now we got our homemade time board. Isn't that cool? Gonna play it, and here you can see the milliseconds is growing, and the seconds too. This is the exactly uh, values of your timeline, by the way. Okay, now for the hard kickers, let's make, for the hard programmers in here, let's make an if-then-else statement. Okay, so we're going to start again, variable second um, is mat.floor time. Okay, we all understand that. And now let's create an if-then-else. If, then else. if uh, let's say, if our seconds will be larger than two, then we're gonna give a big error, okay? So uh, let's say if uh, I'm gonna open up the hook. Uh, if sec is bigger than two, okay? Now the then you have to press that sign. I don't know how to say it in English. A special hook, okay? Uh, then um, we're gonna give an error, okay? Let's say too big, but we have to code code it, okay? Too big, okay. Uh, then we're gonna say else. We're gonna create. Uh, oops, we're gonna close it with it with these hooks. Let me just do it like that, okay. Uh, else, and we're gonna open up again. Um, else, it will just print out the number. So let's say sec, which is the value, and we're gonna close it again here, okay. Now let's play this. One, two, too big. Okay. Um, well, that was basically it. I hope you understand this a little bit. Uh, well, it's programming actually. If you don't, you can also search lots of books on it uh, on the internet about um, expressions on After Effects. Now this is the very basics on what you can do with it. Uh, now you can also link again uh, to some uh, to, to to something to a, a blurness, and you can say if the blurness is uh, above ten, then it will give an error or whatever. Okay, um, so I hope you still it was a boring tutorial, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways. Uh, and thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to leave a comment. I really like people commenting on my videos. Okay, so thank you for watching again, and my name is Jordi from Yapper Design.